online with a video recap of uh, this interview with uh, Anthony Woodruff. And uh, that video wrap up being brought to you by the Faulkner Automotive Group. All right. Yeah, Anthony, nice big win tonight for you guys. You get the 35 to 7 win over Hapro Horsham. Uh, how'd you feel tonight about this game and, uh, and about the way things went for you really early on when you jumped out to a nice lead? Yeah, I was looking, looking forward to this game. Came up on the crew or something. Lyman did a really good job locking. Well, I'll talk a little bit about your line, because last week against Souter, Tim, the Indians did seem to get a little bit of a push at times, but tonight you guys ran the ball right from the start. Uh, was that in the game plan to come out and try and establish the run early and, and put this team down early? Yeah, of course. We're, well, I mean, we're always trying to get out ahead. We came out with 10 point. Our uh, mentality was just to come out and beat them early. You know, you and Sean Homer had like a nice one-two punch for this Nishami team. It seems like you're more the power guy. Sean's a little bit quicker. Uh, how do you think that that partnership, I guess, is working out so far this season? Uh, really good. It gets us both break, so we get a lot of yards. Yeah. All right, now, big win last week over Saturday. Big week win this week over half a portion with both of them on the road. Next week, you guys return home. I'm sure that's going to make you feel pretty good uh, playing on your yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah, it's going to be a big hype game. Right. All right, well, CB East, I'm sure you don't know too much about them yet, uh, but uh, uh, how tough of a matchup are you expecting? Uh, they're going to be a good team. I know they are. It's, it's good they are. All right, Anthony Woodruff, uh, thanks a lot for uh, joining us. And uh, also uh, joined right now uh, by Corey Majors. And Corey, uh, another great performance uh, by you here tonight. Uh, Defensively, you guys shut him down here. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good thing doing the same type of offense that we had last week. So it was pretty much just more repetition on uh, working on our signs and stuff. There. So it seemed like you guys got off to a much better start tonight. Uh, last week, you know, you have that fumble on the opening drive. Tonight, you run right down the field. And you're just talking to, to Anthony. It seemed like you guys wanted to establish the run early in this game, and you did. Yeah, uh, we definitely wanted to get off on a better note than we did last game. And, uh, our coach is just telling us to keep the road tight, don't let, don't give any slack, and just keep running and just keep pushing. And, that's what we and again, I don't know if this is going to become a theme with you this season or what, but a fourth down and two, uh, it's one point in the game, and you come up with a big stop and turn the ball over. What did you see on that play? Because it seemed like you were in the backfield before it was even snapped. Well, we actually called blitz. It was a blitz. Uh, just right place, right yeah, time. Pretty much. All right, well, it worked out pretty well, and it worked out well for you guys, 35-7. to 7. How excited are you to get back home next week and uh, play in front of the home fans? Definitely excited. I've got a home first home, home game of the, of the year. That's pretty much all I've got So, uh, just want to start off right. All right, well, you already started off right 2-0, and looking for 3-0 next week. Congratulations, Corey, on another great game. Our uh, stars of the game and the video wrap-up on WBC1490.com brought to you by the Auto Group. 35